Hey everybody, it's Angie and welcome to Hot and Flashy and welcome back to my kitchen. My channel Hot and Flashy is mainly about anti-aging and all the forms that it takes, whether it is skincare, makeup, exercise, eating healthy, there's all kinds of things that you can do to anti-age. I have been getting a ton of requests ever since I put out my top five all natural anti-aging secrets video for my what I eat in a day video to be updated because I did two of these in the past but the last one I did was two years ago. I tend to eat for a couple of reasons. One is for my health, two is for my cholesterol, three is for my anti-aging. So there are superfoods I'm sure that you guys have all heard of that are good for all those things and they all tend to be the same thing. So the things that I read about are like salmon, green tea, um, legumes, nuts, dark berries, dark leafy greens, but generally, you know, everything in moderation is kind of my goal with my eating. So let's get into what I eat in a day. Um, my quick disclaimer about that is that, of course, this is what I eat. These are the foods that work for me and my family. I am not a nutritionist or a food expert in any way. I read the same stuff that you do, all the studies about what you're supposed to eat, what you're not supposed to eat. As you know, it's so confusing. Everything is conflicting information out there. Um, and so if you do your thing based on something you read or something your doctor said, then great. I'm glad that you have a way of eating that works for you. This is what works for me. I'm not telling you to do what I do. So for breakfast, let's start in the morning. I get up, I'm not much of a morning person. I'm not one who's gonna like cook something or wait to eat. So my breakfast every day is a cup of tea. I like an English breakfast tea. I put sugar in it. I put skim milk in it. Along with my tea, I have a bowl of cereal and it is the um, post great grains. I like this one because it does have four grams of protein. It is low fat. It doesn't have a ton of sugar. And just this week, my daughter has been having some stomach issues. So the doctor put her on a gluten-free diet. So I had to go and buy all this gluten-free stuff. And um, so I picked up this cereal for her and I ate it this morning. I was like, wow, this is really good. I might start eating this. But this is called Love Grown Foods um, Power O's. It's made with beans. So this has um, what kind of beans? Navy, lentil, and garbanzo beans in it. It's got four grams of protein, three grams of fiber, one and a half grams of fat per one cup serving. Um, very little sugar compared to my other cereal. Let me check it out. The sodium. Yeah, this one's very high at 135 milligrams. This one only has 80 milligrams of sodium. And for the um, sugars, where are they? This one has nine grams of sugar and this one has 13 grams of sugar. So um, this was really yummy. It didn't have, let's see, for calories, this has 210 calories, this has 120. I'm not trying to lose weight, so I'm not really looking to cut calories, but you know, if you are, this is kind of a good option. Um, I bought this at Wegmans. This is Nature's Path Organic. Kia Superfood. It's a gluten-free free oatmeal that's made out of chia, buckwheat, and hemp. And it's cinnamon and pumpkin seed flavor. So this is just the standard little packet. You add water, you microwave it, or cook it on the stove. Um, ate some of those over the winter. Those were tasty for breakfast. Then I do drink a small glass of orange juice. I get the Simply Orange, not from Concentrate, has calcium and vitamin D. It's pulp free because I'm not a fan of the pulp. And I just drink a little glass of that to wash down my vitamins and supplements. I am still taking the same vitamins and supplements as two years ago, the one a day women's 50 plus. I have been taking a resveratrol supplement for a couple years. I don't go crazy picking it out. I pretty much just buy whatever they have at Costco. Um, so this is the one I'm taking now. It's true nature something. Then I take a fish oil supplement. This is for my heart and for my skin and for my joints. I use the Schiff Mega Red. Then the last supplement I take is Schiff Move Free Advanced. It's a glucosamine chondroitin supplement. I don't have the bottle for that because I just ran out and I haven't been over to Costco to pick up a new one yet. Pretty much between breakfast and lunch, I don't really eat anything. Um, I will have a glass of water or two, especially if I'm working out. Whether I'm biking or paddleboarding, I always take a bottle of water with me. Now for lunch, I am 
heavy into salads. I am so in love with salad, especially this lunch salad that I make that it makes me so happy. I look forward to eating it every day. In the beginning of the week, I will take my lettuce out, wash it, chop it, mix it, because I like a couple kinds. I like romaine and arugula and maybe some kale or spinach in there. So then I have it in my zipper bag clean and ready to go for lunch. So I either get these canned Goya butter beans that are big and delicious and soft and squishy and oh yummy, or I get from the Antique Pasta Bar at Whole Foods these great, I think they're great northern gigantic beans. Then I buy those pre roasted beets on the same day that I do my lettuce, you know, cut it up and put it in the thing. I will chop up my beets and put them in a little Tupperware. So those are ready to go. I buy these lentils at Whole Foods. These are Melissa's steamed lentils. They are already cooked. They are so delicious. Then on a daily basis, I'll cut open an avocado. I'll put some avocado in it. I like a little bit of crunch. So I like to sprinkle things over the top, sunflower seeds, um, pumpkin seeds, slivered almonds, um, just anything chia seeds, flax seeds, any kind of seed. Then I never use creamy dressings. I only use, you know, basic oil and vinegar based dressings. Salmon is very important to me. Salmon and I have a love affair going on and I like to have it for lunch every day because salmon is full of omega-6 and omega-3 fatty acids that are great for your skin. Um, it's great for anti-aging. I plunk a mound of salmon salad that I've made at home on top of my salad. When I go to the fish market, I'll get a larger piece than I need for my family and I'll cook the whole thing up. Then I'll take that salmon and make it into a salmon salad. If I haven't cooked fresh salmon that week, I like the Kirkland Signature Wild Alaskan Pink Salmon, comes in a can, I buy these at Costco. So I'll just open a can of this, drain it, and make this into the salmon salad. I'll pour a little white wine vinegar over it. I'll add a little salt and pepper, no salt if it's from the can. And uh, then I put in like a tablespoon of Greek yogurt. I use yogurt interchangeably with mayonnaise. So anything that you normally use a mayonnaise based spread for, I use yogurt for. And then just to add a little more flavor, I use this um, Cedars tzatziki. I love this. This is the only tzatziki I'll buy because this is made with yogurt and not sour cream. So I put in like a couple of teaspoons of that just for a little flavor. I love curried salmon. So I'll pour in a bunch of curry powder. I'll put raisins in it or cranberries or something like that. Just whatever I'm in the mood for, I just mix it up into a salad. It's the equivalent of tuna salad or chicken salad. So whatever you put in tuna salad or chicken salad, you can put in your salmon salad. So I'll usually just put a couple of crackers on the side just to have some something else that's like crunchy and you know kind of um, starchy to go with it. I love these nut thin crackers. I have um, a glass that I fill a quarter of the way with this ocean spray cranberry blueberry blackberry juice and then I fill it up the rest of the way with my Poland Spring sparkling mandarin orange seltzer. Usually about an hour after I have lunch I have like quite the little sweet tooth it you know nags at me in the afternoon and says eat something chocolate. So I do. That's when I have my little bit of dark chocolate. Dark chocolate again is an antioxidant and almonds of course are really good for you. The fats and the oils are great for your skin and for anti-aging. The plain dark chocolate almonds I will usually just have you know four maybe five of those and that'll be my snack. Then later in the afternoon I'm hungry again. What I've been eating lately for my afternoon snack is um, roasted seaweed. I just started reading about seaweed and how great it is for you and so I was at Costco and they had this giant pack of these little packs of roasted seaweed. Let me show you what this stuff looks like. They're just basically sheets of dried seaweed. They're so good and so good for you. They're nice and salty. They taste like the ocean. If you don't like anything fishy, you will hate these. I'll have just like a half a cup of plain Greek yogurt. And I always have nice fresh organic raspberries and blueberries on hand. So I'll just take a handful of those and sprinkle them into my yogurt. And I'll have that as like a later afternoon snack. Then of course, as we started the video, my green tea that I have in the afternoon. So I either have the green tea or the iced tea latte. I make that with um, this Dream Blends coconut, almond, and chia milk. This is the unsweetened kind. And I mix it with a little bit of the Tazo Chai Decaf Latte. So I pour, you know, in a tall glass filled with ice. I do maybe a quarter of this because this is very highly flavored, has a lot of sweetener in it. And I don't like the whole thing to be super sweet. So I do like a quarter of this and then three quarters of this over ice. This is a fantastic little like iced latte. 
All right, we're on the home stretch here. On to dinner. You will never guess what we're having for dinner tonight. That's right, it's salmon. <laughs> I really don't cook um, cow anymore, red meat. I really don't cook uh, pork anymore. My family has to pretty much subsist on what I like to buy, which is um, a lot of fish and a lot of chicken and a lot of turkey. I make turkey burgers, turkey meatloaf, turkey chili. Like last night with my daughter being on this gluten-free, lactose-free thing. So I bought tuna steaks. I grilled those with just um, simple oil, salt, and pepper. I made a fresh corn salsa. I bought corn on the cob, um, grilled that, cut it off, and I mixed that with the fresh zucchini from our garden. Uh, some peppers. I didn't put tomatoes because she's not supposed to be eating anything acidic or spicy, so I kept it pretty bland. I mixed in avocado, so I made like an avocado zucchini corn relish. That came out really good. It was nice. Put that on top of the fish, and that was our meal. Um, I think, what else did we have? Oh, we had a little salad on the side, and that was it. In all my cooking, I use olive oil. Um, olive oil is full of good fats, it's good for your skin, it's good for your hair, it's good for everything. Then always a vegetable, we have a little vegetable garden out back, so we have zucchini, we have fresh tomatoes, we have fresh peppers. Um, I always have, you know, broccoli, asparagus, cauliflower, um, what else, peppers, uh, Swiss chard, uh, uh, what are those little things? <laughs> Brussels sprouts, my kids love Brussels sprouts. Um, so they, you know, all the vegetables. So everything's open to me. For the starches, I don't really cook potatoes that often. I'm just not a big potato person. I cook rice, I cook pasta. I love quinoa pasta. I've been buying this a lot lately. The red quinoa is also delicious. I like to mix it with the white quinoa. Um, here's some whole wheat orzo. So orzo is really a pasta. For my rice, I buy these guys. I don't buy the boxes with all the flavorings and the sodium in them. So I just buy my rice like this. So this is just a brown basmati rice. I like farro. I'm into grains. I'll make farro. I'm into lentils. I'll make lentils. Oh, by the way, I have lots and lots of recipes over on my blog. They're all heart healthy. Um, low fat, so if you're trying to lose weight, or you're watching your cholesterol, or you want to eat for anti-aging, they all fit into that, you know, basket of type of healthy cooking. So that's it for what I eat in a day, everybody. Thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate your time. I hope you found the information that you were looking for in this video. So I will see you in the next video. So take care, everybody. Bye-bye.